Hey guys, let's go through how to create a Google Ads call conversion tracking tag in Google Tag Manager. What this will do is it'll set up a forwarding number so that when somebody visits your website, it will overwrite the number that's on your page if they're coming from an ad. And the idea is the, the call to that particular number will be tracked as a correlation between the ad click and then a call to your business. All right, so we're gonna be modifying this number here. So let's go over here and we'll start inside Google Ads. So we'll go to Tools and Settings, and then we'll go to, under the Measurements section, we'll click on Conversions. We'll create a new conversion action. Okay, and then we're gonna click on Phone Calls. And there are a few options here, right? Select the source of phone calls you'd like to track calls from ads using call extension or calling ads, calls to a phone number on your website, or clicks on your number on your mobile website. For this demo, we're going to choose calls to a phone number on your website. Click continue after you select that particular radio button. We're gonna just call it phone number call. Let's say website. And for leads, you can click on one. So recommended for leads, signups, and other conversions because only the first interaction is valuable, right? Every would mean that if one person called twice, it counted as two. But for this one, we want one person to be counted as one conversion, okay? Enter the phone number callers should reach when they call your website. So let's go to our website here and grab it. There it is. Put in the same format. Okay. You can specify the call length as well. So 60 seconds, that's considered a good call. I.e. somebody didn't just call and hang up, it's not spam, anything like that. It's more meaningful if it's over a minute, I would say. So let's leave it as that. Create and continue. And we're going to use Google Tag Manager for this. Perfect. So now let's grab, well, we'll go to Google Tag Manager actually. We'll go into our container. Go to the tag section, click on new. Let's just call it, um, can we grab the same title? Yeah, let's grab the same title that we used for our action. Put it here. Okay, and under tag configuration, I'm just gonna click this, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you see this one. Google ad calls from website conversion. Click on that, and here we go. The first one here says displayed phone number to replace. Let's just read this, right? So the phone number you enter needs to have the exact digits it has on your website, okay? Again, it's gonna replace this with your Google forwarding number so it can make that correlation between an ad click and the number. So I'm gonna grab that, pop it in here, go back to Google Ads, get that conversion ID. Oops, over here. I'm also gonna get that conversion label that they show us. Okay, this is going to Fire on all pages, that's going to be our trigger setting. Then I'm going to click on save. Do we have a conversion linker? No, nope, we don't have a conversion linker set up, so I'm going to set that up. Conversion linker. We want it to maintain the gclid, right? The Google Click ID. When somebody clicks on an ad, it's got to be preserved up until somebody makes that phone call. Okay, and a conversion linker does exactly that. So we're gonna fire this on all pages. The conversion linker is a built-in tag. 
You can just grab that from the tag section like I just did. Surprised I didn't have it on here. Oh wait, that's all right. I just added it now. Click on submit, hit publish, continue. That's it, we're done. So it should, change, it should change this text. Perfect. Now we can measure calls to a Google forwarding number from an ad click. All right, hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.